today with a famous fly, a Copper John. John Barr from Boulder, Colorado has invented uh, this fly during uh, the period of 1993 to 96. In 2001, this nymph pattern became the best selling fly in the Amqua catalog of flies. It doesn't attempt uh, to match uh, any particular species, but uh, it can be effectively fished uh, to imitate mayfly nymphs or juvenile stonefly when in a larger sizes. But basically, John designed this fly as an attractor fly to draw uh, attention to more realistic and smaller dropper nymph below uh, it in his hopper copper and dropper system. The copper John dragged down the smaller fly in in this rig. If you are inter interested in a hopper copper dropper system, there is a about six to seven foot three uh, x leader, then some foam hopper, followed by about four feet of four x floor carbon. Uh, it's tied to the to the bend of the hopper uh, on one end and a copper John tied on the other hand other end and uh, last is 12 to 18 inches of 5x fluorocarbon to uh, the band of the copper and attach uh, your favorite nymph pattern or mage uh, to the terminal end which can be like WD40 or you know RS2 some small small fly uh, which will be dragged down by this this heavy uh, fast sinking fly uh, the key of this fly is weight, the density, and uh, as well as its slim profile uh, with uh, no many extensions. The Copper John went through several design changes over a period about, as I said, about three years from 1993 to 1996. The hook came out the best. Uh, on the TMCO 5262, which is this hook, it is a 2x long, 2x heavy hook. Uh, the original pattern tail and legs were Hungarian partridge. Now, John using a hen back feathers for the legs. I'm here using still the partridge and uh, goose bios for the tail because. Uh, uh, he found them more durable. Also, the the thorax was first covered with a epoxy darky quill wing case, then with a introducing of thin skin, he switched to this plastic sheet, basically because the the darky quill needed two layers of a of a epoxy because the first one soaked in the feather and. Uh, as well, uh, later Dave Hall introduced a single piece of paraflashable over the top of the thin skin. You can see the, the light on it. And that's the final version. So this, this is the final version, just uh, I using the Partridge for legs, John uh, using the handbag. And you can tie this in uh, many sizes and many colors as well. Uh, very common is a red wire or a green wire. You can use some green wire. This is a copper and I use in here a brown copper, which is a bit darker, but not a big difference. Uh, yeah, so I said the hook 5262, usually from size 12 to 16 or 14 and the bead the key, as I said, is a weight, so use a tungsten gold bead or brass if you don't have tungsten. For the size 12, I'm using 3.8 millimeters. And uh, for size 14, you should use something like 3.2 millimeters. First, we want to add a bit more weight, so take a rounded lead wire and make several wraps here. We'll make like seven, six, seven, 
and push it against the bead okay now I will start with a thread 200 tendonier because I want to achieve or we want to achieve the smooth on the body for for the wire body uh, so I'm sorry with this and then I, then, then I will switch for some thinner some 50 denier uh, black thread this is only nylon 210 so just tie in the thread and you can every wrap you can untwist your bobbin so you still have this smooth floss trim thread and as I said for tail use biots these are the goose biots this is a rusty brown use some dark brown take two of them oppose the curve and even the tips and it should be about half of the length of a hook shank so something like this put it on top and secure Okay, just secure trim rest and as I said we want to build a smooth on the body you can you can use the your time thread the common but this is a bit easier to use Thicker thread. Now the the wire cover of the abdomen will also add uh, the weight. So that's the main reason. And for this size, I'm going to use. Uh, Ultrawire UT, UTC Ultrawire mi medium, which is which is 0.32 millimeters. If you use a soft wire from Uni products, the medium Uni soft wire is 0.24, so you need a large one from Uni products, which is 0.32, as well as the medium of Ultrawire from UTC. So something like 0.3 millimeters is fine for for size 12. Uh, make sure you have long enough piece. It really you pretty need a pretty long piece, uh, maybe like eight inches of the wire. And I will tie this on the top. Some tight on a, on side or downside bar. I like it to tie it on top and shape the final final shape of underbody here. Yeah, that's it. Now we can already start wrapping the copper wire. nice and tight wraps take time on this step And 
you can go with the wire even where the thorax will be as some gap because it's uh, it's adding a, a weight which uh, is desired here so like this secure trim rest and I will tie in my regular thread for this it's a nano silk 50 denier 12 fold in black so tie this in trim and trim a, trim a butt section of course and we go in tie in a flesh bow or in my case it's a unimiller a paddle just a single strand or a pair of flesh bow and the point of the thorax should be about half of the hook shank so somewhere here so tie this uh, on top so the, the point will be somewhere here secure and bend it and tie the other end so we will have a double so as I said now you can tie in the Darky quill feather for the for the wing case or a thin skin or any other plastic sheet like I have here a flexi body but what I'm going to use is this this one with nice texture it is a uh, it's called grating foil from Crema products brown and it's on paper as uh, same as uh, thin skin or the flexi body just cut the strip keep it on a uh, paper before and, and remove the paper after cut uh, so cut a strip remove from paper and tie in on top And for thorax, the peacock hell, great nymph materials. You take like, I don't know, like five or six and even tips, I will just trim it and tie this in by its tip somewhere here. We will thread to the point. And now we can add actually a bit of uh, super glue, zapper gap uh, brush on here I'm using. It can increase the durability of this of this part of the thorax. Now you can go with your thread just behind the bead and now you can twist it into some rope or just like me just wrap it like this and secure secure I will also secure the wall thing like this now we go in for like switch John Barr, as I said, using the handbag. I'm still using here a partridge. So take a single feather, what you like, I will remove all the fuzzy stuff. Try to choose uh, some with more square tip and 
or remove more of these. You don't need much. Something like this and we will trim the tip. So we will have the kind of V shape. Now place it with the inside side down and check a check a length how how I time them a slightly longer than the thorax and tie tie in and secure okay it's it's, it's a bit uh, it's a bit too long once more Okay, I will trim it with a graphic knife so it can be close to the thread. Secure a bit more and we're going to pull the thin skin or the sheet or the turkey quill wind case forward over the Picagel thorax. Secure, which is like two or three wraps, and pull the two strands of the flesh over the top of the, the thin skin and secure. Okay, now again the graphic knife cut the rest of the thin skin and the flesh above. And we finish. Okay, we can trim thread already and we got going to add uh, the epoxy uh, cover of the wind case, which represent, can represent some air. I will use the five minute epoxy here. You can use, you can use uh, some more than UV glue, what you like. Just a small drop and mix it well. It turns white, so it will ensure you it is mixed well when it's white. And now just take a drop on. on top okay and let it cure it will turn it will turn uh, in five minutes it will turn in a clear nice coat okay so it's almost cured that's uh, our Copper John, great fly, very heavy nymph, uh, fish this in tandem with a smaller one or in some hopper copper dropper, as I said, or as you like. So that's all for the John Bars Copper, Copper John. Try it in different sizes and try different colors, uh, like green or red, as I say. 
and uh, thanks again for watching bye